Hi, I'm Steve Kennedy. This is Music and Message. And this is a Father's Day edition of The Way. Does it have to get so bad? With all this writing on the wall The life's so good, why it be so sad? Oh, I can hear you call What wouldn't you do for your family? died for me All the light over the horizon has always found me somewhere running against the wind With the light shining down on me One day I weep for joy in the dawn of day Hey, you show was a man in my life that showed me the way. He sacrificed, got up to go to work every day, led a life of character, 
set an example of how life can be fun and rewarding in the right way. It wasn't perfect, but on the big issues of life, he showed me how it should be done or could be done. He led that little youth group at the church. Oh, well, there's about 12 people and my, my brother and I concluded. And I'm glad that we were made to go. So I just, I just hung around until I wanted to go. And that happened. You know that that group has been like family that has followed me throughout the years. And in my memory, in those names of those special people will forever hold an unforgettable, unforgettable place in my mind. Thank you, Dad, for that gift. You know, you're only given one family. And you have to get together with people to find your family. And that was a gift that was given to me in the best way that I can imagine. I remember trips with the youth group out in national parks, amusement parks, many those bonfires and hay rides and softball games, church camps, memories that are absolutely irreplaceable. Where I heard such advice given as, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. He will give you the desires of your heart. So I especially lately tried to delight myself in the Lord with my work and yeah, with this music. Next, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. And that's difficult to do. Difficult to do sometimes. Don't fret when people succeed in their ways and they carry out their wicked schemes. For those who are evil be destroyed and those who hope upon in the Lord will inherit the land. It's a big promise. So don't worry about those things, those, those doing the wrong thing when it seems they're getting by with it. Because they won't. They just won't. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster, they will not wither. Like in the middle of a COVID pandemic, in times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. You know there have been maybe set there might be seven years of drought and then seven years of plenty. So hold on. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him, though he may stumble, and we do, don't we? He will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. There's some big promises there. And it's progress, not perfection here. But what we do, what do we do? We turn from evil and do good. Then you will dwell in the land forever. That's Psalms 37. It's difficult to do this on your own. So I was taught the truth. No one does life completely right. Nobody does life completely right. For all sin can come short of the glory of God. And you call upon the name of the Lord in those difficult times. You call upon his name and then you'll be saved. He'll take you up and out of there. And help help you through that difficult time. He'll save you. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, shall have everlasting life. He 
loved us, he died for us, rose again. And he gives us power to live the way he would have us to live. And, it's, and it is progress, not perfection. It's not about works what we do, lest anybody should boast. But, it's, but faith without works is dead. It's one life. It's one life, man. And it'll soon be passed. What's done in the right way, what's done for Christ, is all that lasts. I took this worldview and this world ethic and work, work ethic into adulthood, and I kept working on it. I kept working on it. A few years ago, my wife Valerie mentioned to me that at where she worked in Huntington, Indiana, there was a partnership between a YMCA and a local hospital where physical therapy department was variable was available there for injuries stroke recovery from car accidents children with cerebral palsy hey they even had after school and before school um, child care you know it's a great a great situation for a community and I just mentioned this in passing to my office manager who mentioned it in passing to my CEO who went over to town board where I where I do my family practice and all I know the next thing I know is that I'm hearing about a YMCA with our office being built into it our hospital office being built into it um, so I'm not going about this 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 part here for self-promotion but towards the end of giving credit where credit is due Sports and athletics have been an outlet for me for years. They've been a healthy way to make friends, socialize, relieve stress, and stay in shape, all the above. It's not every, I understand it's not everybody's thing, you know, but it's my, it's been my thing. I went to, I went, I played these sports in high school and it was a, in, in my healthiest times in my life, it was my, it was my go-to, like my trump card. You know, in my healthiest times of my life, it'll relieve stress and and see, it may not be everybody's thing. What's your thing? What's your thing that you can delight in the Lord in, in, in the right way, in the Lord with? And what is that thing? Because he's watching and he knows what that thing is. He knows what that is. And and so I delighted in the in the Lord. With, with my service. I went off to college, played football, and, and I got hurt. And then I went into medicine. I delighted myself in the Lord in, in the service of that. And then I got, I, I got through medical school. What's your thing that you can delight yourself in the Lord in? Because he'll give you the desires of your heart. It was done in the right way. And who in the world am I? You know, I mean, seriously, guy, man, at this point in my life, I look over there, a brand new office over there with a YMCA and, I, and they're building my office right into them. And, 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 and seriously, who the heck am I? In, in, in three generations, four generations, five generations, we won't be known. Uh, we won't be known. You know, do, does anybody know here know their great grandfather? Their great, great. How about your great, great, great grandfather and grandmother? Now, you, know, you know, it's one life, it'll soon be passed. What's done for Christ is all that lasts. So we delight ourselves in the Lord and he gives us the desires of our heart. It's a promise. Well, I just, I just wanted to stop and give him the glory because that is what seems to be happening here. That's exactly what seems to be happening here. Making a stand for Christ and passing on great ideas can come together to get positive things done in a huge way like this. And he enjoys giving us the right things. He, he, he enjoys it. He's, a, he's our Father, he's our Heavenly Father. He wants to give us, to give us what's good. Now, I, now I've had to work at this. I've had to really work at this. You know, I've had to delay gratification, denial of self. And it's, and it's been where you pick up your cross and, and you deny yourself and you follow Christ. And it's been really difficult, but extremely worthwhile, extremely worthwhile. Hey, nowadays that little country family practice, that church home, 
My family and friends all represent family, where I know I've got a heavenly inheritance working in the right direction. I look around and I see family. That little, that little small town I came from, that little town, the, the people I, even when I moved away, I found, well, I found, I moved away from my mom and dad, Jim and Susan and my brother, Mike and John, and, and my sister, Sherry, and, and, and there was Jeff and Joe and Randy. Hey, I found a Jim and Susan. I found a Mike, a John. I found, and more and more. There's nobody that's given up houses or lands, mother, father, brother, sister, for the sake of the kingdom that won't get it, re won't get it back. He's a good, good father. He loves us. And he, and he enjoys, enjoys us. He loves to see us doing the right thing. If I save myself, I lose. Hey, it's the best way. And Lord Jesus, He showed me the way. Oh, you haven't gone away. On some far away journey, oh, I can hear, I can hear you say, I'll be back. Has always found me somewhere running against the wind with the light shining down on me one day I weep for joy in the dawn day hey you show me the way hey you show And this is Music and Message. And this has been The Way. Happy Father's Day. Oh, you haven't gone away.